From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ropecast. I'm Peter Tischer. And I'm Roger Charlton. Hi, Roger. Hello, Peter. Listen, Roger, I wanted to talk to you about something that we both know very well, which is university, and more specifically about the style of university, the lecture style. You mean the way lectures are presented? Yes, the way they are taught, the way teachers present their courses, right. the way they present themselves, which I think is pretty different in English-speaking countries, at least yeah. from my country. And I brought along something, yeah. which is a recording of a computer science class in Harvard College. Right. One and, of the really big names. Yeah, that's a really big name from the U.S., And the instructor's name is David Mallon, and I would just like us to listen to the first minute of his lecture. Right. This is really not my field. Well, let's just have a listen anyway. Okay. All right. Good morning. Welcome to the end of week 12 and the end of CS50. Please continue to help yourself to sparkling cider and cake. Uh, you'll note that there's a bug in both of the cakes. Uh, chocolate says vanilla, vanilla says chocolate, but uh, uh, we'll leave it to you to eat away at that problem. So it's hard to believe, perhaps, that just 13 weeks ago we started this class with that uh, little tale of opening up these floppy disks and dissecting them, and here you are, 13 weeks hence, having done a ridiculous amount of work, perhaps, but hopefully having gotten just a little something out of it. And so today's cake and cider is meant to celebrate that for you guys, if you will. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think I learned anything about computer science, but it's certainly interesting watching that guy. Well, computer science was not the idea. The idea was to show to you and to our listeners that this is a really different way of presenting a class. Yes. I mean, the, the first thing that struck me was he brought in cake and even cider for his students to celebrate the last class of the season, if yes. you like. I was wondering, though, is this just David Mallon, the instructor of this computer science course? Or is that something that... No, I, I, well, from my own experience, at the University of Manchester in the UK, I remember tutorials, which are very small classes, yeah. where the senior lecturer brought in a home-baked cake every time. Every time. And we were all invited to eat some of it. Oh, that's nice. That's he, nice. He, was, he was good at it. <laughs> Better than at giving his class? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see what I mean. I yeah. mean, you would not find that in Germany or very rarely or in France, for that matter, a teacher who brings cake to his students in, wow. into class. It's unusual. Yeah, and very friendly, very open, you know, very chummy. And the jokes, too. Ah, the jokes, yeah. That's another thing about this lecture. I mean, he had about, I don't know, five jokes in his first minute, like when he says that he apparently mislabeled the boxes with the cakes, and he says... There are some bugs, like in computer bugs. So you think, uh, wait, are there bugs in the cake? Yes. <laughs> yeah, th there's more than, than that even. Yeah. Uh, well, I've noticed with when we have guest lectures here, people from outside, from yeah. an English-speaking country, really serious lectures nearly always start with a joke. Nearly always. Yeah. So you could say this is a kind of, Ice, well... Icebreaker. Yeah, but it's also academic style. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. To to sort of, well, ease people into the course, into the presentation, into the lecture. We don't see any problem with using a relatively informal style, even for a very serious topic. Uh-huh. Okay. But, but you know, this informal style even starts with the way Harvard presents this lecture in their official course program. Oh, right. I brought that along. Wait, yeah. let, me, let me... I brought this here. Sorry, let me just read this off. And it says about Computer Science 50, that this is the name of the course, that it is more than just a computer course, more than just teach you how to program. This course teaches you how to think more methodically and how to solve problems more efficiently. As such, its lessons are applicable well beyond the boundaries of computer science itself. 
that the course does teach you how to program, though, is perhaps its most empowering return. With this skill comes the ability to solve real-world problems in ways and at speeds beyond the abilities of most humans. I mean, this <laughs> sounds like... Hey, well, forget about uh, uh, psychology, forget about, I don't know, rocket science. This is about the best thing that you're ever going to listen to and participate in. I think for me, that, that's sort of really typically American, what we in Britain might call over the top. Uh-huh. Okay. You wouldn't do that in Great Britain? I think we, we have more problems in, we would say, over-egging the cake to come back to that subject. <laughs> <laughs> but so you wouldn't announce a course with this, well, almost marketing. I think it depends very much on the institution these days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the equivalent of Harvard would be Oxford or Cambridge. And I would be surprised if they presented their courses like that. But the humor would still be in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think we ought to talk a little bit about this humor again, because what a lot of people will say is that, well, they make, make a lot of jokes, but then it can't be serious. Yeah, and we see no contradiction there. We ought to talk about this yeah. next time. Okay, fine. Next Robcast. Yeah. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. You've been listening to Robcast, brought to you by Saarland University featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. <laughs>